The name's Dude. 22 Tiger Dude. Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Spectre. So, Spectre is the fourth installment in the Daniel Craig James Bond films, and it is officially the 24th James Bond movie. The film is directed by Sam Mendes, who also directed Skyfall, and it has the stars of Daniel Craig, Lay Sedu, something like that, Ben Whishaw, Naomi Harris. Christoph Waltz and Ralph Fiennes. Oh, and Dave Bautista too. So Spectre is about when James Bond gets a message that has him searching for this evil organization known as Spectre. Meanwhile, M has to battle forces in order to save the organization. So when I went to Spectre, I was pumped out of my mind for this movie. Of course, it's a James Bond movie, although I will admit, I haven't really seen a lot of the James Bond movies, maybe a couple of Sean Connery movies, a Pierce Brosnan movie, and all the Daniel Craig movies. Casino Royale was really awesome. Quantum of Solace, I've only seen it once, but I remember it just being a very disappointing movie. Uh, just found it meh for what I remember. Skyfall, I thought was incredible. It is by far my favorite in the Daniel Craig James Bond films. So, when it came to Spectre, I wasn't really expecting it to be as good as Skyfall, but I still wanted it to be a really awesome James Bond movie. And you know what? While it's not as good as Skyfall, as I expected, of course, Spectre is one hell of a movie. This was truly one awesome James Bond movie. Of course, when the movie opens, it has this really cool tracking shot that I thought was really impressive. How the movie used that technique was so well done and it was incredibly well executed. I was at the edge of my seat with how the movie opened. However, I will say the sequence, you know, with the new song by Sam Smith, yeah, I didn't really care for the Sam Smith song to be honest. It was fine, but I wasn't really impressed by the song to be honest. It just didn't really fit well. Daniel Craig as James Bond. He can basically play this role in his sleep at this point. He is really tremendous in this role. He was just very suave, he had a lot of personality to him, and he even will crack jokes from time to time here. And that's another thing I will say about Spectre, is the fact that out of all of the Daniel Craig James Bond film, this is the film that actually did have the most fun. Like, it still had serious dramatic moments to it, but it still let you had a lot of fun with it. And when the movie opened, it clearly set that up very well. I know not everyone's gonna really like that, because they're used to these Daniel Craig James Bond movies being more deeper and more serious, but I still really like that Spectre went with that tone. In fact, I think it was really cool on the filmmaker's part to go in that direction for Spectre, but still taking itself seriously at parts. I was really invested into the story because you do dive more deeper into James Bond's past, I will just say, because Skyfall, you learn about his past and you learn more about it here in Spectre, which I really liked. And I loved how the movie has a connection to Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, and Skyfall. Christoph Waltz, he's not in this movie much, but he steals every scene he is in. He was very awesome as the villain. Just the sinister tone that he gives in the movie, honestly, it gives me the chills. So Christoph Waltz, he's really awesome here. Dave Bautista's really good here too. Ralph Fiennes as the new M, I thought he was really enjoyable here. And I really liked Ben Whishaw and Naomi Harris, who I did feel like had more to do here than they had in Skyfall, which was honestly really nice. I'm glad that they have more time to shine here and the way they would communicate with James Bond was honestly really awesome. 
I also do think Leah Sadu as the new Bond girl was really good too. I really liked the chemistry between her and James Bond. I thought the romance between them was very believable. Action sequences in this movie are through the roof. They are awesome to look at. They are very well filmed. It's not really shaky. Maybe in the train sequence it was a little bit shaky with the camera work, but everything else, it looked awesome. I had a blast with every single action sequence, honestly. Even with the climax, in which I'll get to the climax later on, but I really had a good time with the action sequences. But even though I know the train sequence seems to be a lot of people's best, action sequence in this film. My favorite sequence personally is when James Bond and the new Bond girl are in Austria, which is very snowy. Speaking of that, cinematography in this movie, it's really good and it's actually from the same cinematographer from my favorite movie of 2014, Interstellar. While I will say the cinematography isn't as good as the cinematography in Interstellar, I still thought it was very well done. But I will say when James Bond and the new Bond girl are in Austria, I do feel like that's where the cinematography really shines because when you look at the snow, holy crap, it looks beautiful. It's really gorgeous looking. I also really liked how Spectre ended. In fact, if Spectre really is the last time Daniel Craig makes a James Bond movie, I say I have no problem with that. I'm actually fine with this being the conclusion to the Daniel Craig films. And of course, I have to mention Sam Mendes' direction. It's honestly just as incredible direction-wise as Skyfall, because Skyfall, I thought it was awesome. I was really blown away by Skyfall, and there were times where I was really blown away by Spectre because of not only how intriguing the storyline is, but in terms of how Sam Mendes directed the film. Now, as awesome as Spectre is, I will say I did have some problems with this movie. The first problem is that the subplot with Ralph Fiennes as M, I didn't think was that interesting, to be honest. Now, I wasn't bored because the good thing about this movie is that when it does cut to Ralph Fiennes' subplot, at least it doesn't really drag too much. They don't focus on that too much when it cuts to there. But when it is there, I did find myself to be pretty disinterested. And then speaking of the subplot, I thought Andrew Scott's character was so obvious and so predictable. He still did a good job with his role, however, but his character, yeah, it was honestly very obvious. Also, how James Bond and Leah Sadu as Madeline, I believe, I'm pretty sure I got that wrong, how they would travel from location to location to location kind of felt a little bit jumpy. And then as I said in my positives, I did really like the chemistry between James Bond and the new Bond girl. I thought they both had very nice chemistry with each other. I bought into their romance. I cared for their romance. But I did feel like when it began, it felt pretty rushed, and I wasn't really buying into their romance at first. But as the film was progressing, I was buying into it. It's just when it started, yeah, couldn't really get into it. Also, Christoph Waltz, he is fantastic in this movie, no doubt about it. But he was definitely underused in this movie, unfortunately. And I felt like the build-up to him just could have been better. I felt like they could have done more with his character. Dave Bautista was really good in this movie too, but I felt like he was only in this film just so he could go track down James Bond and to go fight him. You know, and that fight led up to that train scene, which was really cool. But... Yeah, I felt like that was his only purpose there. Monica Belushi, she's good here too, but I felt like she was wasted because all it felt like was she's in this movie just to have this big makeout scene with James Bond in which that entire scene I found so out of place. I really did not care about that scene. I will say the new Bond girl played by Leah Sadu, she was a really strong female character, but in the climax, she had to be a damsel in distress, which I found weird that the movie shifted to that all of a sudden in like the final 
10 minutes, I would say. So yeah, that felt weird. And then speaking of the climax, my final problem with Spectre is that while the action was still well executed, I did feel like the climax was rushed and it was pretty underwhelming. It's not a bad climax, however, as I did still have fun watching the action, but I did feel like how they did the climax, it was honestly pretty rushed. Overall, guys, I think Spectre is a solid James Bond movie. I had a blast with this movie. It is awesome. Really awesome action, really good performances, really good cinematography for the most part. Some of the lighting could have been worked more with the cinematography, but I did like that for the most part at least. It was just a very great tie-in to the other Daniel Craig James Bond movies, and I am indeed going to give Spectre three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of Spectre, what's your favorite James Bond film, and what's your favorite James Bond film in the Daniel Craig franchise. And since 2015 is the year for spy movies, what has been your favorite spy movie of 2015? Kingsman, Spy, Mission Impossible 5, The Man from U.N.C.L.E., Bridge of Spies, Spectre, or any other spy movies that have come out in 2015. And I would also love to thank Mark Krawcheck because I actually got to go on the spoiler room along with his guest Paul to spoil and discuss Spectre. It's always very nice to go on the spoiler room. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But just be warned, there are spoilers. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have dog power.